much and you're looking at a rat and you say, hey, the rat did not move. I was looking at me. Ha! It did not move. I asked myself, this wee wee, is it so important like that? What's there? <laughs> ha ha! It did not run, no. Then he turned to face me. Ha ha. Then he moved closer. I ran. <laughs> Rat. But when it's time to sing, I hear the rock of the lion of Judah is inside. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to God forever. So, Joshua 1 8, let's, let's join it quickly. Joshua 1 verse 8. This book of law shall not depart out of my mouth, but you shall meditate during what? Day and night. And to what end? That thou mayest observe to do all that is written in it for then. Who will make your way? And then you will have good success. When it comes to the matter of meditation, It is as though the power to make your way prosperous has now been given to you. I'm saying that carefully. It is literally what it is. When you are in the realm of prayer, it is you depending solely on God. And that's why prayer needs to be a mixture of painting pictures and speaking to God. Because success is a partnership between you and God. Did you hear what I just said? Nobody succeeds solely because God wants them to, or else all of us would have succeeded, right? We succeed because God is interested in your success. He wills your success. He wants it to happen. And you too are partnering with him to make it happen. Last week we spoke about limiting the Lord of glory, right? Uh, so we can limit his plans for our life, his desires for our lives, when we refuse to change the picture that is in our hearts. So this scripture is saying that you will make your way prosperous. If you just read it like that, it looks like you are the author and finisher of your success. No. But it shows you how far you have a role to play. In ensuring what? Success. Glory to God forever. So please take note of that. Life is predictable. Say life is predictable. <laughs> you shall have what you say. Life is what? Predictable. Everything I'm doing right now, I saw it. I painted the picture. Some have not yet come to pass, but many have come to pass. I was remembering some of the reasons. Holy Ghost was explaining further last week, someone. Some of the reasons why that picture, that man of God painted. Do you remember last week? Yes. Man of God that gave me a word of knowledge. Yes. Holy Ghost was reminding me of some of the pictures I had in SS2, two years before he gave the prophecy. I was lying down on my bed in boarding house, SS2, imagining a day. I had the name of the ministry already in my head, the glory bringers. And it was a challenge when they, I even sat down for interview, faculty of law. He said, what will you do when, <laughs> when you become a lawyer? I said, I either you don't plan to use. <laughs> and nobody told me that I'm supposed to speak, that I'm going to fight for justice. I'm going to ensure that there's equity. That's what all my friends were saying. I almost lost my admission. As I sat down there, I couldn't deny myself. I had meditated so much. I was living in the future. You are asking me a question from the past. I'm already in the future. I will not be lying. In the future, I am seeing myself in ministry. I am seeing myself singing. 
And I am saying it to you. Am I lying? What I'm saying, listen carefully, all right? There's a wisdom side. If I go back now, I will say what they want me to hear. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and so please listen and be balanced. <laughs> Tell them what take it that you hear. <laughs> but it shows you how deeply I've meditated to the point that when you ask me that kind of question, I give you the true answer. I just tell you the truth. So I said to them that I see myself in future not exactly practicing this. He said, so why are you now doing law? Why are you not doing music? I remember those questions. Or CRS. I said, well, law is going to challenge my mind in critical thinking. And I want to, you know, study something professional and have it. <laughs> oh, they were looking at me like, is this guy crazy? <laughs> People are struggling to enter into this. You want to do it and keep it. So it almost cost me my admission. I got to the house and my father was telling me what I said. <laughs> so they had spoken to the faculty dean. Faculty dean had spoken to, to her mother and Lord. Her mother and Lord had spoken to <laughs> my father. I reached home. They were telling me what I said. <laughs> Some of them are probably watching me <laughs> now. Do exactly what I told them I would do. I was not lying. I mean, this one is so powerful. Even when you change your mind, you might start struggling after. I'm happy you caught it. You don't know how happy I am that you caught it. If you truly meditated, God and Satan will struggle to help your life. And I say help. Satan will struggle to frustrate. God will struggle to... You understand what I just said? I'm happy you are catching what I'm saying. You don't know how happy I am. Hey... Hey. So let's let's go gradually. So that's what happened to me. I said I was painting a picture, right? The picture I was painting, I see you see myself now on the lower bunk, lying down, seeing myself in the future. They are calling me to come and minister. The name of the ministry was what? The glory bringers. <laughs> I had name. I had seen it. They call me only when they want the glory. Because it has implications. As I'm coming to the stage, the cloud has started coming from the back. I had seen it. I was seeing myself ministering in the largest possible venue. In my head, it was relation camp that time. I had seen it. And the cloud was coming from the back already. And people will start falling like a pack of cars till he reaches the front. Everybody down. I was seeing it. What class? SS2. SS2. I paint the picture and say, Jesus, I want this. I want your power. So after seeing that picture, someone now prophesied to you. I see you releasing song. Album. It's album. And they're playing it in UK. Imagine. Just, you just imagine. How will I say amen to that? Do you now understand what I'm saying now? Uh, so please, see. Tell your neighbor, see. Because as far as your eyes can see, your hands will undo. Glory to God forever. I wrote here, and I'll try and explain it. These are just a couple of thoughts, random thoughts on this subject. God can say to one person, go. There's trouble on the way. And he's saying to one person, go. He's saying to another person, wait. Or run. The individuals determine their way. Therefore, influence their instructions. Did anybody understand what I just said? Okay. Let me explain. That's why you have to be very careful in teaching your, your personal dealings. Because where you are standing, as far as light and consciousness, determines many of the instructions you'll be hearing. So to one person, he is saying, eat. 
knowing that there's poison inside, God is, is telling you, should I, should I not? You are not aware of the plant that you are aware and you are intentionally looking for poison to eat. I'm saying God is aware. And there is no restriction in your heart to eat. And you eat. Another person is not aware there's poison inside. God is warning the person, don't eat this food. What's the difference between these both persons? They are both Christians, both hearing God. What is the difference? What is the difference? Uh, Reverend Malakwai was met by some people who were sent to assassinate him, and they brought, you know, the the drink that was poisonous. Within minutes, it should be gone, and so they gave it to him to drink. And he lifted it up and said, "Father, thank you for this tea. Tea." You will do to me what he does to the body. What did he do there? What did he do there? Meditation. What they gave him was poison. What he changed it to was what? Tea. It's meditation. The problem is, he did it in two minutes. Do you think that's where he started his journey of meditation? And that's the challenge with us. We just watch that and, and get ready for when you do it. Start your practice now. So that when the time comes and you only have three seconds to act, you can change an experience by just changing the picture. In seconds, immediately, it will start happening. Did somebody hear what I just said? Yes, can I say these things, Lord Jesus? Okay, I will say this much. The more you practice this thing, the faster it will start happening. You can practice this thing so much. In three minutes of holding a thought, everybody that needs to act on that thought will start picking it. I will give only one example that I have shared a number of times. So I will share that one. But it has been years already where I've been practicing it before that time. So I was chatting one babe that eventually became my wife. <laughs> I was chatting her in December. January, this November, December. And I said, I will come and visit you. She said, do you know where I am? I said, I know where you are. She said, so how will you come? What will be like... He said, don't worry, I'll come, I'll come around, I'll come and check on you. And so I just kept it in my heart. I didn't even hold it for long. I just, I just thought it and left it. And I want to go to this place. Whatsoever you desire, when you pray. You can't desire without what? Prayer. <laughs> without thinking. Right? Are you following what I'm saying? This is your feedback. You know, it helps me, Abby. Once you're looking confused, I will just do normal. Because <laughs> I want you to understand. That's the goal of teaching, right? And so, help me. Also, I was looking at me like this. We'll just do normal, all right? Help me. Oh. <laughs> That's how far we we'll go. Meditation is a, is a whole world of conversations. We can't finish it in two Sundays. But just what you need for your life is what I want to just, at least for your current season. So, as I desired it, I want to. I have already meditated. Yes or no? I've simplified. The meditation is simply what? It's just, to, it's just for the picture to be in your heart. That's it. So anything you do to keep it in your heart, the longer it is in your heart. That's why it says meditate on it what? Meditate on it what? <laughs> so those of you who used to play PlayStation, you'll notice that as you play, 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 play from morning to night, guess what will happen in your dream? You see yourself continuing. You didn't say, I want to meditate. PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation. You just simply kept your mind on that thing. Some of you have meditated on your books and you saw yourself. Who knows what I'm talking about? During the first breakthrough week, November, I was declared, your road is clear, your road is clear. In the night, upstairs in the office, at 2 a.m., I remember waking up, your road is clear. Your road is clear. I was sleep talking. 
from some conscious. Your road is clear. Your way. What am I doing? And I lay down <laughs> and slept. It happened two times. What do you think that was? It was meditation. You are the one that is thinking we're just doing stuff. It's medit anything that's engaging your mind consistently is a process of work. Simple. Make life simple. That's how you progress as a Christian. Make your journey simple. Make life simple. It means everybody is meditating on something. Whether you like it or not, if you're not meditating, it's meditating you. <laughs> Anything engaging your mind and your thoughts consistently is what? Is forming your conviction. We can expand that for a whole service, believe me. But let's leave that. Wait, 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 wait please. So I desire, that's the one you remember, I know. <laughs> I, desire, I desire that then. I, I don't remember consistently. I just know I desired it. I was expecting it. It's just there, somewhere there. I'm hoping I'll go check on this, this babe. And then we go for battle last retreat. We start charging, 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 charging. It's not on, actively on my mind, but I have desired it. I've captured. That's why I said over the years, as you continue practicing, it doesn't take as much. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, that's the beauty of it. Every door that has opened now, I saw it. I pictured it. I'm telling you, nothing is shocking. Nothing is shocking anybody anymore that is serious with this thing. So I can relate to what Bishop is saying that I'm not surprised we're here. I would be surprised if we're not here. Everything he's experiencing has been pictured already. I don't know anything I'm seeing in my life that I've not pictured. Nothing. Nothing. I'm telling you nothing. Is it the numbers of people in church? Are you kidding me? There's nothing. We have not reached the number I saw. I didn't dream it. God didn't show me vision. I what? Painted it. Saw it. In fact, I was reducing the number because I had no more stress. It, have you forgotten I said it the first year? Now, I just like us to just be like 400. Do you remember the statement? 400. Quality. So I had to change it because that was the picture I said. I don't want stress. So 5,000 people that are not serious. Just, Lord, 400. I was standing there, told Pastor Goswin. I said, don't you like the way everybody just charged? I think all these churches that are not charged, I think as the... <laughs> When the goats are more than the sheep, it causes problem. It was like 400 quality, serious, intentional. That's the picture I saw. When I saw that the numbers was not climbing beyond 400, I said, okay, <laughs> that picture. So I said, I said to change it, change it, change it. Who understands what I'm talking about? <laughs> Is that practical? Is that serious? That's why we have to leave this building. We're already jammed, right? We have to leave this building because every time you are standing in this building, and seeing these numbers, and seeing that there is a wall, your mind has this wall inside it. And this, this building, I think it can't take more than 550, 600 conveniently. Right? So it means this building is telling us what our number will remain is what? You'll be wondering why your prayer is not changing it. The fast is not changing it. So if we want more, then we borrow not a few. I'm happy you are getting it. You don't know how happy I am. Oh, you are getting what I'm saying. Hey. So people are so intelligent. Once we have reached 70 pieces of the hall, we are already jammed quickly. Because they know the principle. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can decide by June we want to be this number. I'm telling you, it's that powerful. It's like you are the one doing it. That's why I'm telling you, you be careful with this principle. Though. It's like you're the one doing it. You shall make your way prosperous. And thou shall have good success. You shall make your way prosperous. Tell your neighbor you are the one that will make your way prosperous. Which power of which father's house? The Bible says you are the one. You are the one. You are the one doing yourself. It's not any power anyway. Power. Bawo. Which power is enough to contend with the greatest power in the universe inside your body? You are the one. You are the one. Though. 
Glory to God forever. You can write that down as, as reference, Second Kings chapter 4. I think I spoke about this during the video. So, anyways, somebody reaches out. I didn't finish the story. Some people want to hear the remaining, or we should just leave it. I should continue. Okay. All right. So, I'm racing for time. I want us to finish on time. So, here was I. I'm trying to remember. And so, as we finish, I think we're seeing in the midst of Atlas Retreat, someone reaches out and says, uh, they invited me from this state to, and then uh, I, I told my father, my father said, ah, it's too far, crisis, you know, terrorism, order in the state. Uh, ah, it will not, uh, it will not be nice if I go, uh, it's too far. I said, hey, yeah, ah, it is well. I have forgotten that that was the state. So I said, what will happen to the people now? Like, who will minister to them in their, their meeting? He does not know, like, ah, he can't disobey his father and all of that. And then it just clicked. Wait, which state did you say you are writing from? I said, I said, yeah. Okay. And my father has taught me, you never can verse for ministration. In my life, till today, that's the only time. So <laughs> only that time in my life, even if you are sounding like you want to invite me, I will not encourage you. I never. And I'm very secure in myself. The meetings are too many. I cannot even be adding to it right now. So, but that one time I had something. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hey, like, huh? So I said, ask them if they don't mind. I'm saying it for a reason. Ask them if they don't mind, you know, me stepping in, you know, to assist you. Just so they can be blessed, you know. Just, you know? <laughs> now, I have not met her physically to even ask. I said, that's where my baby is now. I kid you not. Anything I'm saying. Wait, wait, I'm going... Let's focus now. We don't have time. Why are you standing up? Any problem with the chair? Joke would. <laughs> oh, God. Just listen. Anything I'm saying, you give her a mic so we can, she can confirm what I'm saying. I want to establish this, this sharing. I want you to see what I'm saying. And I'm already being careful. If some of you will catch this thing, it, it can be very, very... It can be very... Have I met you that time? Please give a mic. Is the mic working? <laughs> At that time, have we physically already started talking? With, you know. The one time she came to the house, and no, that's, that's like a year or two ago. But at that time, have we, you know? This is someone that maybe we spoke on WhatsApp once or twice. And now I'm saying I'm going to come. Because I was already... Now, I'm telling the guy, please follow. Please follow. I'm not, I'm not trying to prove any... I'm just, I'm, this is the only example I can give that looks graphic. And which all of you already have watched online. So I'm explaining the behind the scenes now. You get what I'm saying? So I was telling the guy, that's where my baby is now. I have not proposed to her. When I was doing, you know, video calls, talking with her... You know, I will show my mom. I said, "My baby, I have not yet. I don't even get to what I'm saying. That's how sure I was. I've, I've married. I don't know. I'm so concerned because we are online. <laughs> I'm already seeing the YouTube videos. That's why I'm holding back." Lawrence, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what's holding me back as I'm, as I'm speaking. Like, oh, go do, go do. How much can I say? Ah. Anyway, it is well. So,
So, anyways, they reach out and then they say, Thank you very much. Have we heard that we are that you'll be able to come? Then they told him that I was the one they wanted to reach out to. But they felt, listen carefully. And that's why you don't start and stop. They felt that place a bar. Someone like him cannot come there. Do you get what I'm saying? Ah, Kebi, ah, no. Let's, do you get what I'm saying? Let's manage this person. Ah, this is the person. They showed them that that was the plan. But like, they just felt it can't, it can't come to this place. Which is not the case because we go anywhere, right? There's no way I cannot go to. I go to secondary school, so why, I, why can't I go to, you know? But anyways, when they reached out, I took note that truly, as I desired it, immediately. Are you getting what I'm saying? It was planted as a seed. As you desire anything. And that's why you must ensure that you're desiring according to his will. Because this principle is dangerous in the hand of a lawless person. Lawless people? Some people just came together and said they want to build a tower that will reach God. What did God say? This thing that they have what? Imagined in their hearts. It will come to pass. Huh? Someone didn't understand what I just said. So I'll tell you, I'm guided though. I'm guided. I don't throw desires anyhow. That's why I also guard my heart from offense. I can tell you from stories to story. People later I'll find out that that thing I held in my heart, the pain, within minutes, I started creating negative circumstances. I started guarding my heart intentionally because it's counting against you in your records. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hey, it's not a thing of joy. You've never seen me here come and be boasting that to destroy somebody's life. Ah, you won't be trusted with great power. So if you want to continue climbing the ladder in stature, in power and intensity, then you must learn to function for what? Love, from love, love. Love people. People will offend you. People will do things. For their sake, guard your heart. Because I've seen what not guarding my heart can do. I can go from story to story. We don't have time today. Anyways, I took note of that. That the desire planted the seed and then they decided to reach out. But then they stopped. So if I had persisted, it wouldn't have had to what? Go through all that. Route. But eventually it still reached. It still reached me. So when I reached the babe, and I chatted the babe. And then they started talking. And then I popped the question. And then she wanted a dream. I said, you will dream. <laughs> Before even popping the question, I already knew over the years that desire was enough to plant dreams. And so when I reached, I asked the babe. I want to just confirm. Did I ask or did I not, be, I not ask? That have you not seen something already? Can you please answer? They cannot hear you, man. <laughs> you said what? I asked, okay. That's why when I go to places, when I meet people, many times, some of you have heard me say, what have you seen? With regards to me, what have you seen? Because the ones God shows me that this person is supposed to work with me or this person is supposed to be, what have you? As he speaks it, it has already entered your heart as a desire, right? Yeah, at that point, usually for some people, it's already enough. It's enough. Immediately, it triggers dreams and visions. People will start seeing things. That is also why you must be supercharged so that you are only picking signals that are from God. Oh, you got what I just said. Because you can hear the desires of men. I will tell you one, and that's the only one that I will say and stop there. I was lying down in victory complex 
We were charging every day. Somebody came and sowed a seed. With a desire. The first one. <laughs> As I lay back on the bed, I saw the person open a door three times that I was inside. Open a door. Open a door. Open a door. And I woke up. Ah, I said, what is this? I knew. And this person understands what I am saying now. It is so powerful. Pictures can be planted in people's hearts just by desire. Do you know many of the dreams you're having that somebody's coming chasing you with knife? Doesn't mean the person is a witch. The person just nurses a negative thought against you. I'm telling you, 95% of those things, nobody has the energy to find where I, I was telling someone, if I want to do Babalawo now, how do I get to them? I don't know. I don't, where, do you, where do you meet the people that meet the people that lead you there? Like, I don't know where any of them is. Many of those people don't, are not going diabolical. They are just thinking negatively. It can be jealousy, just envy, just and as they not sit for too long. Guard your heart, too. Yes, Any spiritual man will pick it. Amen. Amen. Let's, let's hurry and finish. So, I'll tell you one quick story of a picture I had in my heart and how it started. I was in this lesson, I was before, before GSS 1, just finishing primary school, I was attending this lesson somewhere in UI there. And this lady used to teach people, preparing them for entrance examination into ISI. And I was not a dull child. I was not. If I was, I would tell you, there's no, <laughs> no don't change anything. But I was not. I was just highly unserious. <laughs> I, have you seen those children before? If they can just calm down. I was not. So I was very, very, very unserious. Very, very unserious. I've told you some of these stories before. Ah. So we will even be in the lesson. I'll be making everybody around me to be laughing. She'll be hearing them. <laughs> Lawrence again, you know, and all of that. I truly frustrated her. I would be acting drama there where I was and, and everything. Cut long story short. One day, after coming to us and removing our clothes and throwing us on our backs, twice, twice, next person, twice, she was, she was angry. He said, You are a goat. If you enter ISI, if you make it to ISI, come spit on my face, call me a goat. Those were her words. The thing entered my soul, bam, and created a picture that you adore. That's where the struggle began. I just knew, sitting in class, I was seeing myself. This, just think about the pictures in your heart. I was seeing if there was a list of everyone in class, I was seeing myself at the back of that list. Someone understands what I'm talking about. That no matter the miracle that wants to happen. I cannot be first, but I will not be last. Some of you, that's the picture. You are seeing yourself average. You are not seeing yourself as last. But, but I cannot be last. But you don't see yourself as first. So the two pictures, you are not seeing it. So that's why you are always noticing that your life is always around the average. Growing up, I met people who couldn't believe they can fail. That's why I knew that my own was a picture. They couldn't believe. You couldn't convince them they can fail. Fail? I can't fail. There's no positive confession. The, the picture could not enter. And truly, they might not read as much, but they will never what? They never fail. And you who think you must fail, no matter how you read, you start your reading from beginning because of the fear. From beginning, before the season starts, you're starting reading so that you can still fail. <laughs> Please don't feel bad if I'm describing you, alright? Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, 
relax. Your deliverance has come. It 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 has come. The deliverance has come. Change the picture. So what happened to me? In SS2, this is about five years after. My mother sat me down. I can still remember. The day your life changes, don't forget. Wear tie wrapper with white t-shirt. There was a lantern, chargeable lantern. This white uh, fluorescent kind of chargeable lantern. On the center table. In the parlor, the second parlor. I was sitting down. And she was just saying, Lawrence, do you know that you are intelligent? I don't know why she did that. I pray God will bless you with grace to parent properly. Yeah. Yeah, some things my parents did, I don't know why they did, but I knew it was Holy Ghost that made them do it. If she did not say that that night, maybe till I left university, I would have been struggling with those pictures. So she said, do you know you are not dull? It's as if I was hearing it for the first time. Then she made a statement. She said, for other students, they have to read. They will not succeed. You, just read small. She even added, don't read too much. <laughs> As if she knew that even the small, I was not reading. Instead of me to realize that uh -uh, someone is not reading and is passing. <laughs> Satan is a bastard, though. So it was the, the average course were confirming to me that I am dull. Instead of me to see that I'm not putting in even 10% of the best in class. Who knows what I'm talking about? So I said small. She said small. Just small. <laughs> Don't read too much. I said okay, okay. Just small. Okay. I read small. Came second in class. As I saw myself standing up, and the person that passed me, passed me by 0 0.02, something like that, 0 0.02. Yes, zero points. That's how we used to do it in school. It be, it's 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Next position, 0. <laughs> so as I was looking at myself standing on the honors list, I said, lie, lie, I'm not going back. <laughs> I will never stand there again. Meditation happened. <laughs> and I had a new problem. I kid you not. It was now too much esteem. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to you. So it affected me again. Because now, like, what is the problem? What is inside this textbook now? What are we reading? So is that me? <laughs> Investing now humbled me again. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, what's wrong with everybody? What's inside this thing? What they said now, is it complicated? The, my mind immediately shifted. I am intelligent! And intelligent people, that's the only part I know I didn't catch. Intelligent people should still read very well. So I'm, I'm too intelligent for all this. <laughs> may, may somebody here have sense in Jesus' name. Some of you understand what I'm talking about. You came with shoulder pad high on chapter 100 level. Gas, 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 gas. Shoulder pad went low. <laughs> Amen. So change the picture and the results will start to reflect the new picture on your soul. Declare in the name of Jesus. Please say it very well. In the name of Jesus. Every negative picture in my soul shut down now. Shut down now. Shut down now. Pray it in one minute. Lift your voice. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray to, pray to, pray to, pray to. For the next 20 seconds, pray it louder, faster. Every negative picture. Shut down now. Take advantage of this meeting. Come on. Shut it down. Five more seconds, louder, faster, come on, push, 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 push.
in Jesus' name. Now, as you are still speaking in tongues, start writing the pictures that need to change now. Write them, write them, write them, write them out, write them out. List of negative pictures or mindsets. And start listing them out. The Holy Ghost is right now brooding over your mind. He's unveiling things now. Maximize it. Some of the pictures I'm seeing in my spirit, I'll be saying it, confirming what is in some of your hearts already. Some of you already believe. I might make it, but it will not remain like that. I might succeed, but it will not always be. I can break through, but it will not always remain like that. So once you break through, you are already anxious, afraid, expecting something tragic to happen. And because that's your setting, it must go back to default setting. Some of you have settings that were installed by social media reels on Instagram and Facebook. All men cheat. And you already have the one that is in your home as an example. So you are already afraid in advance. You must aggressively change that picture. It won't change just in one Sunday service. I can promise you that. Some of those pictures were installed over 15 years of consistently seeing something. You must give it. Be ready if it takes the same amount of aggression. But with the power of God, you don't need to spend that many years removing it. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It can root it out. It can root it out. And yes, it can happen in a moment of time. All of a sudden, you lie down, wake up, and you are another person in your reasoning. I'm seeing another picture. Nobody can accept me for me. Nobody can love me for me. I don't know who the person is. Just raise your hand and put it down. Nobody can love me for me. It's, it's, they always want something, you know, something they want to gain. Nobody can love me for me. It's already concerned. But the guys coming around you, they don't truly love you. And you're already repelling the love that people are bringing to you because you don't believe it. You believe everybody has ulterior motive. Nobody can love you for you. Nobody can sincerely just be interested in your progress. Write down. The Holy Ghost is revealing to you. Write down. The Holy Ghost is revealing to you. He'll be showing you the pictures. Pictures. One more minute. Write as he's revealing to you. All those pictures have implications. You'll be seeing what's happening because of the pictures. Some people have a mindset, tomorrow is bleak. I will not end well. Desire to remain. So every disappointment is taking you back. It's reinforcing the picture. Well, say, be I know, desire to remain before. It's just pastor that is just giving us hope every Sunday. Is <laughs> I to remain. Last, last. And that Petro week has come. You see what I was saying. See? They are testifying. I'm not testifying. See? So you see? Is I to be. Let me know who could be raising my hope up so that I will not be disappointed. Hmm. What was even the point of being alive? What's the point? All manner of negative pictures, statements, or trances. You have finished writing, raise your hand. You've not finished, raise your hand. Okay. I'll wait for you one more minute. Right, 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 right. I 
I'm seeing a picture of somebody saying, I will not live very long. They're already afraid. You will not live very long. Around 40, 50, you will get sick. There's somebody I'm seeing like that. Raise your hand, put it down. All right, put it down. So you see, some of these pictures were installed by experiences. Sometimes not even your own experience. Just, it just had to be consistent. One family member, second family member, third family member, the picture is installed. And it's just there. Praying is not enough. The picture must change. It must change. It must change. The picture must change. If you are going to die at 45, 50, then it means you're not planning to see your grandchildren. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do you change the picture? Because of our time, I think I'll finish. I will have to finish this next week. We'll finish it next week. <sighs> how do we change the picture? Huh? descriptive and detailed words and pictures. Every picture has implications. If you change the implications, you have changed the picture. Let me explain. You don't see yourself finishing school. It has implications. It might impact, impact your finances in the future, right? Yeah. So if you change the implication, then it automatically begins to affect the entire process that leads to that what? Implication. Certain expected ends are not easily accessible without certain processes. So if you hit the expected end, then you will notice that the strength of the previous pictures. Did you get what I just said? Yeah. So if you notice that it's hard for you to see yourself married and see yourself with children and grandchildren, it will impact. Did somebody get what I just said? Yeah. That's how you deal with some strongholds. And it's looking as if this picture does not want to change. The heat on the implications. So if I'm not successful, uh, what am I doing with these other pictures? And it must mean that I am... Is somebody following what I'm saying? Uh, that's how you do it. You have to be stubborn with this. Oh. Stubborn with it. Because I'm praying in the spirit... Uh, there are nations I've consistently used, and some of them now, I mean those nations, consistently used as pictures. Pictures I've consistently used. The average person does not see themselves with other races in the world. Your environment is doing it to you. You don't see yourself having a friend. How many of you have pictured yourself having a friend that is white? You have never raised your hand. Do you understand what I'm saying now? It's not devil that this one to you. Is it devil? Are you getting what I'm saying? Hmm. You have a friend that is white. Please get what I'm saying so you understand where I'm going. If you have 20 white friends, it has an implication, right? It means that for some reason, whatsoever, you must have traveled. Are you getting what I'm saying? And they're not likely to be your friends in Bodija, yeah. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? It has implications. That's what I'm trying to say. Fifty of your contact list are Asians. Have you thought about it? No. I'm not saying their culture or race is superior. Are you following what I'm saying? It means your heart is thinking globally. You are, you are conscious that it's not only Nigeria that is in the world. This thing I'm saying is impacting 
churches, impacting ministries. Even when we are abroad, it's still Nigerians that are inside the church. Are you not getting what I'm saying? It doesn't matter where you go. The picture is going to repeat itself. You're not seeing yourself talking to white people. That's why you're even talking the way you're talking. You're catching it. That's why every song you're leading is, Eba mi ra, ba, 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 ba. I would understand what you're saying. I'm telling you that most of us are not painting the pictures we are praying about. If you are painting it, you start adjusting yourself. I was telling some people this week that the way I'm talking, I am conscious of the fact that those nations, they won't understand what I'm saying. Some will, those who have Nigerian friends and have some black exposure. <laughs> Many of them won't. How did I know? I was outside the country for eight months. My friend and I will be talking. They will be asking me, what are you guys talking about? Like, what are you guys saying? What language is that? I, I said, see this guy. He says he's asking us what language is that. I said, what are you guys saying? What did you say now? Ah, they don't understand what we were saying, you know. What I just said now, nah, they don't understand it. We don't have time today for this. It was Bishop Ibiome that I was listening to many years ago, I think 2016 or so. And he said one of his nieces or, or nephews or so, relatives anyway, in the US, said, Grandpa, Grandpa, that means grand. Anyways, one of his relatives, I don't remember the details now. You know, they can be very bold. <laughs> he said, Anytime you're preaching, we don't understand a word of what you're saying. Like, we don't understand, Jack, what you're saying. He said, What do you mean? He said, like, your accent is too, you know, too strong. Like, we don't understand what you're saying. That's the first time I heard this. It now makes sense to me. Why, Pastor Chris, you have to me. Since which year or since which, which century? Adjusted the accent so that the rich can be global. So guess what? Watch the videos. Are you now shocked that it is full of white people? Do you understand what I'm saying now? Uh, but you only hear God in Yoruba. Uh, you only hear him in Yoruba. That's and the way. That's you don't you don't know you don't know the way, the way. You better have sense. I better stop here. <laughs> Somebody hear what I'm saying? So when I go for bachelor's retreat, UK, US, of course you know. I have to adjust, and I'll be embarrassed sometimes as I'm speaking it. <laughs> sometimes the oil. <laughs> Talk no more, let us fire. <laughs> it's like the angels are saying, What are you talking? Because this is my element. When somebody, because of online persecution, will be thinking, What will people say? Because they don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. Bishop Bimbo said he had to start correcting some of his pronunciations. Because when you are saying water, they don't understand what you just said. Water. You all understood. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Unless you are deceiving yourself. You understand what I just said. Water. <laughs> Can you believe someone in this world does not understand that you are speaking English? Amen. Amen. So it will impact your mind so much, you will start taking physical actions because the picture is clear. If you change the picture in your heart truly, you would have bought by now, registered and gotten an international passport. The fact that you have not gotten one till now shows that all your confessions is a lie. Meditation will start impacting your actions. It's the last phase of meditation. You start doing like you're expecting it. Bible says Abraham was rejoicing. He was already rejoicing. Baby has not come. 
was very rejoiced. Is that clear? Rise on your feet everywhere. Are you blessed today? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. <laughs> so just look at that your notes. Take one of those pictures. Only one. Only one. Some of you wrote like how many things? If you wrote five, raise your hand. If you wrote more than five, raise your hand. Ah, so you have many pictures, right? And you have a lot of time, all your life to change it. But just for the next few minutes in this anointed and charged atmosphere, can you pick one? Pick one of them. The most critical one. I want to release the hand of God as you are meditating, as you are seeing it. Pick one of them. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Out loud declare from today. From today. This, picture has changed. this picture has changed. You will do it two more times. You have to hit it hard. From now. This image, has this image has changed. We were saying some things during the breakthrough retreat that it's in my past now. And that's what you're about to picture now. If you notice mentally, the picture was either beside you or in front of you. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Uh, or you were inside it. This time around now, you will change the image. That's why we say, th we'll talk more on practical next week because of our time. That's why we say things like testimony of faith and stuff like that. All that is meditation. So this time around, I want you to add a picture of your sending the email to the church email. Testimony. Add a picture of yourself standing sharing because it's too hot for us to just read it out are you getting what i'm saying these are practical descriptive pictures see yourself rolling on the floor in front see the whole church in tears praising god for that testimony now if the picture is not enough if that testimony is not worth that kind of picture you are painting you know you should up your game are you getting what i'm saying uh, there's something that will happen. All the nations will fear God. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's what happened to Israel. People will be afraid. Aha! God is great because of what happened to you. Can you see it? I hope you see what I'm saying. Then you will shout it again now. From now! From now! This image is behind me. From now! It is in my past. From now. It is but a memory. Lift your voice. Blast in the Holy Ghost now. Come on. And see it. See it. Pray until you hit a victory note. Lembomboki distiki barakoto jiko panar. Pronto Loki Makus Dallas Usiga Baraka Shakantala Lembrentem Pronto Kaprakos Takatabro
down faster. Yes, Eli melele tini di la oni tina jana. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! The power of God is here. The picture is changing now. The hand of God is coming upon your soul right now. Just be silent now, close your eyes. Some of you are already hitting the victory note, the joy note. That's how you know you have crossed over. You will just know the picture has changed. You can't be sad over what is in your past already. When it's already gone, it's already gone. It's gone. No more scar. No more regrets. It's gone already. The picture has changed. I will shout it three times. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. Three times and you will raise a shout of praise knowing it is done. It's in your past. It's in your past. Keep your eyes closed. You should be meditating. You should be seeing it. 
It's in your past. Push it to the back. It's in your past now. Failure is in your past. Sickness is in your past. Death is in your past. Supernatural death cancellation says the Spirit of God is cancelling your debt in seven days. I don't know who you are, but get ready for a miracle this week. They will call and say, you are not paying again. Don't worry, you are not paying again. You don't need to pay again. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. The last time you shout the amen, you release a shout of praise and glory and register it with joy. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. that tries to combat what God has already done. You say, no, I have the victory. Decide not to meditate on the past. Meditate on who you are in Christ. Meditate on the truth of God's word. On your identity in Christ. Your experiences cannot define you till you meditate on them. Don't let them define you. Meditate on truth. Amen. Let's just stretch our hands towards pastor and just bless him that in the name of Jesus you will not be found wanting in the name of Jesus the anointing be multiplied the Lord increase you pastor greater utterance more understanding, more wisdom more knowledge in the name of Jesus your family is preserved, you are preserved the words you speak will continually be spirit and life in Jesus name the Lord meets you at the point of your needs, your heart desires are met in the name of Jesus. The Lord waters you abundantly. You are a fruitful field in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's, let's have our seats. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Were you blessed? Were you blessed? My goodness. My goodness. Can we just say thank you, Pastor, once again? Amen. It is such a privilege and a great gift that we have. It truly is a great gift we have. Okay, so in quickly, we give to the ministry of the word. So if you would like to um, pay your tithe, if you brought your tithe into um, the church or you've paid your tithe through the course of the week, can you please be upstanding? And if you'd like to give your tithe, via cash, you can just come forward and just drop it in the basket. Amen. If you'd like to transfer right now, the account number is um, on the screen. So 
let's just bow our heads as we pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give to the ministry of the word. We thank you for this privilege to give, Father. We thank you because there's nothing compared to what you've done for us and how much you have given us. Father, we ask that in the name of Jesus, you trust us and that we be an outlet of the resources for your kingdom. We pray that in the name of Jesus that you bless us. You trust us with, fin with, 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 with the financial blessings of nations in Jesus' name. That our pockets will not run dry. But in the name of Jesus, you help our hearts to continually give even more. And that what we've given today will be nothing compared to what we'll give tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I have your seats? It's time for our offering. It's time for our offering. And let the ushers please help us. Thank you because indeed you cause increase to come. Bible says you give bread to the eater and the seed to the sower. We ask that your blessing comes upon our giving in the name of Jesus. Online on ground, many desire us to give who don't have substance. 
we ask that the heavens are opened over you you have supply in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we have prayed amen and amen praise God are you excited can you give the Lord a shout of glory So we have some people who are fellowshipping with us for the first time. <laughs> Hallelujah. But before we go ahead, let's celebrate those who are streaming this meeting on our social media platform, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Let's celebrate them. Let them know that we love them. We're excited that you are there. Praise God. So look on your left, look on your right. If you're looking at someone you've never seen in church before and today is your first time of being here physically, fellowshipping with us, can we please celebrate them as they wave their hands wherever they are. Wave your hands. Can you take it a step further and rise on your feet wherever you are? Take it a step further and rise on your feet. If you're around them, let them know that they are welcome to the Davidic Generation Church. They have come to the house of David. Come on, come on, help them. Let them know that I've come to the house of David. Oh. Let them know that you have come to the house of David. Our ushers, please wait on them. Please wait on them. Let them have sleeps. Please, if you have a sleep already with you, you can have your seat. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. We prayed for you to be here and your being here is an answer to our prayer. And we are sure that the one who has brought you will also exceed your expectations in the name of Jesus. At the close of service, we would like to have a brief meeting with you. We would like to know you and we would like that you know more about us. If you have questions, we would like to answer them. Um, for two, three minutes, max five minutes, we would like to spend a few minutes with you praise the lord as our culture is uh this is the vedic generation church where growth is by force the least amongst us is as david and the great amongst us is as god praise the lord at the minimum hour we pray as individuals in this church is two hours so starting from 6 a.m tomorrow prayers begin on our telegram platform praise the lord i want to encourage you to be a part of it everyone who has been part of it testifies of God's goodness in their prayer life, in their individual lives. And we are sure that you won't be an exception in the name of Jesus. So choose any two hours from 6 a.m. We do 6 a.m. to 10, um, 6 a.m. to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, any two hours in the day. Okay. And maximize praying. Praise the Lord. If you are not on the platform, meet with any of the ushers. They will embody on the Telegram platform where prayers hold on a regular. On Tuesday, we'll have a midweek service, and it's also virtual on a Mixelar platform with the hours of 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. I want to encourage you to be a part of it. We didn't have midweek service in the past week, and that was because we had a breakthrough week, and um, we look forward to having you again this week, Tuesday. And as we make it a date, the light of the Lord will shine upon our hearts in the name of Jesus. Please be reminded we'll have a crossover service um, on Thursday into Friday, the 29th of February into the 1st of March at 10 p.m. We'll converge on our Telegram platform for our crossover service. Again, it's another time to get the word for the month and um, we trust the Lord to give us grace as we oblige in the name of Jesus. Please also be reminded March is our month of I like the fact that the excitement is at the back. <laughs> March is our month of what? Fasting. Awesome. So we'll start fasting again on the 1st of March. What a glorious day. Glory to God. <laughs> so on the 1st of March, we'll resume our fast. Okay. On the 3rd of March, there's a good news. Uh, you're not excited about good news. And the good news is that the 3rd of March, we'll have our first miracle service for the year <laughs> hallelujah so do well bring everyone possible to be brought okay deaf dumb lame 
get them here miracles are still happening in our days and we are witnesses of it praise the lord on wednesday there is a conference going to start here um the meeting is holding in partnership with the davidic generation church um it is tagged sorting out conference okay it's starting on wednesday and it will run through to saturday okay and it is with uh, reverend joe olaya okay it's holding in this auditorium on wednesday and it's important that as much as you are available it is in the evening okay going to run from 5 p.m to 10 p.m okay buses will be made available to drop us at strategic positions and if you need to be housed um provision will be made for you at a discounted rate praise the lord praise the lord but we want to encourage that everyone should be a part of it it's an amazing time okay it's an amazing time praise the lord after close of service we'll have a meeting with the leaders okay all leaders note that we'll have a meeting after close of service um the goodness family and sisters um you have a meeting at the close of service too um there's a flyer with me um someone who wants to teach people um on fashion a free apprenticeship for further details meet with sister titi um sister titi she's in the ush ushering unit she's there standing behind there uh, she'll give you more details if you don't know who she is ask anyone she'll point your attention to who she is praise the lord um if you do not mind can we celebrate one of our fathers here um we have pastor sam elijah all the way from the united states of america come on let's celebrate him hallelujah please be seated at the close of service at the close of service for those who are interested it is compulsory for workers but for those who are interested at the close of service we'll have a brief sharing with him and he'll be talking around the areas of finance i want to encourage you to be around i want to encourage you to wait but for the, if you have somewhere to be immediately with close service please attend to it but your destiny would wish that you waited praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah so if you have somewhere to go go ahead but you know that there'll be a difference for those who waited praise the lord please let's receive pastor lawrence hallelujah <laughs> my, my, me and my destiny not be again <laughs> wait i'm not wait <laughs> hallelujah to jesus so all our first timers while we're clapping let them go now <laughs> they're waiting for you at the back you can take what you came with Shout it. Amen. Please be a doer of the word of God. Jesus made a statement to his disciples, which I can I can imagine how he felt now being a pastor. He said, many people desired to hear these things that you are hearing. They couldn't hear it. There are people in several nations right now that wish they can attend a church like this. I've seen them. It's not what they told me. Many of them just wish. They were rich enough. And some actually do it. They travel in every weekend to attend some services in Nigeria. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. There are churches like that. Many churches like that. 
Some travel, they book their flight for the entire year because they don't want to stream it. They don't want to hear a story. They want to sit down and listen to those utterances and let those graces impact them. So I'm sure you're not surprised if that's one of the pictures in my head, right? You didn't hear what I just said. You remember who said it? People will be flying in from different nations to attend a Sunday service because of the value they placed on the service. There are some of you that come in from another state. Raise your hand if you're like that. Look at them. For another state. Why are you going through the stress every single Sunday if it was not value? And you think the result will be like the average person? Oh no, he's a rewarder. You didn't hear what I just said? I declare this week nations are coming to your light. Nations are coming to your light. I'm saying something. Every self sabotaging character, every self destructing behavior, in the name of Jesus, the light of God exposes it to you this week. And the grace to shut it down, receive now. Amen. I refuse you to continue seeing in your spirit things that are not manifesting in the natural. Amen. The wisdom to link it up now, receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and declare from today, anyone that thinks of you to do you good is acting in a hurry. Amen. They are acting in a hurry. Amen. Every hanging blessing right now is dropping. Amen. I see it dropping now. Amen. I'm seeing a student. Your matter is before the board already. They are trying to choose whether to favor or not to favor. I decree and declare. And this one is going to give a feedback. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Mercy has spoken for you. Amen. Somebody else is saying amen for another matter that's not like this. But you are saying that a voice should speak for you where it matters. I decree and declare where your case is brought up, mercy is prevailing now. Amen. What? My God. My God. Shout the amen again very loud. Come on. Shout the amen again. 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 Let there be sudden remembrances. According to the order of King Azaros, when they suddenly remembered Mordecai, that's what I'm seeing. In the next seven days, from far and near, be remembered. In the next seven days, be rewarded. Listen to me. The fact that you have sown good seeds does not mean automatically you might get good harvest. We live in a fallen world. It is power that ensures and preserves your harvest. Mordecai has saved the king's life and yet was about to die. Until fasting and prayer was engaged, all of a sudden, things he had done were brought to remembrance. I declare, I'm seeing reward. That's why I'm declaring this one now. Somebody is deserving of something and it's not coming. It's not arriving. It's not arriving. I decree and declare the power of God forces it into your life this week. This person I'm talking to, there's a lady among them. You, this were your words. I deserve more. You said that in the last one, two weeks. Where is the person? 
you said this, you deserve more. It's like you were cheated. I decree and declare, using you as a point of contact to everybody here, who is not getting what they deserve. Lord, shall the God of all the earth not do righteousness? You are the judge of all the earth. Shall you not do righteousness? I align my heart with your desire now. And I decree and declare. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Lord says for your shame, he will give you double. Uh, these are the exact words. Since you were denied what you deserve, I will give you more than you deserve. I repeat, since you were denied what you deserve, I will give you even what you don't deserve. Shout that amen seven times. Amen. 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 Raise a shout of praise and glory. Come on. God is good all the time. Glory to Jesus. Are you blessed in today's service? Please invite people for next week. We need as many hands as possible also. So get ready. We will cast out demons online and offline. I'm, I'm picturing it already in my spirit. It will be bloody here yeah, next week. So be expectant. I'm expectant already. Also next week, I'm just reinforcing again. A major father in the faith will be gracing this altar by Saturday. By all means, those who can make it, try and make the retreat that was announced. All right? Pastor Victor said it very wonderfully. All right? And I hope you all caught it. I'm just adding a little bit to it. Try as much as possible. This does not happen every time. All right? And they have chosen to use this church as a location. I don't think it is a coincidence. It's somebody's season, even for this church. So I'm trusting God as a church. We're going to support them as much as possible. That father is also going to be around physically. I've confirmed that. All right? And I don't want anybody's head here to miss that are you hearing what i'm saying yes, okay oh. so try all right we'll be here every evening from wednesday thursday friday and saturday in jesus name amen now we're going to share the grace of fellowship so those who need to go can go surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we are the house of god forever and ever Amen. So if you need to go, God bless you. Take your leave. Quickly, 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 quickly. Do it in two minutes.